On at least two occasions, the competent authority, the local bishop, two of them have issued negative statements about the alleged visions. Two different bishops have done this. What was the response of those under their authority? Well, one of the seers said that Our Lady had said to tell the bishop if he didn't get on board, he'd go to hell. Imagine that. The entire bishops' conference of Yugoslavia also gave a near unanimous 19 out of 20 thumbs down saying nothing supernatural going on. And speaking of disobedient, it appears that the Lady of Medjugorje is also disobedient to the church, which I guess is no big surprise that she would counsel disobedience. She has said things like, all religions are the same. All sufferings in hell are equal. And this whopper, supposedly from heaven, the souls in hell eventually become comfortable. And this contradiction to Catholic teaching, she says she is not the disposer of all graces, in direct contradiction to the title the Church has given her of Mediatrix of All Graces. The Vatican recently cautioned bishops around the world to cast a very weary eye on various Medjugorje conferences all over the world where Our Lady is allegedly appearing. And get this, the apparitions are actually scheduled in as part of the agenda for the day. Virgin Revelation, my children, many will come in my name. They will do deceptive wonders. There's so many false apparitions. For my money, the worst one, the very worst one in our day and age, the one that's caught so many just droves of people in its diabolical snares is Magigori. Now set aside the fact that the ordinary on two different times twice has condemned the thing, it's obviously false. Any spirit that appears on demand is not from heaven. That's just a principle. Any spirit that appears on demand is not from heaven. If a, peer, a spirit appears on demand, and that's exactly what happens with these so-called visionaries, then you're at a seance. You're at a seance. Anyone with eyes to see can easily contemplate. I'll just throw one incident out there, which makes everything perfectly obvious. It's filmed. You can readily see this on the internet. On January 14, 1985, that's 32 years ago. On January 14, 1985, during one of the so-called apparitions, well, Vicka, one of the fake visionaries, was supposedly in ecstasy. A Frenchman poked at her eyes, and she dirked back. It's all on film. Now it gets worse. Immediately after this fakery, Vicka claimed that the reason she pulled back is because Our Lady had appeared with the child Jesus, and coincidentally, just when the Frenchman poked at her eyes, it looked as if the child Jesus was going to slip from Our Lady's hand. This is on film. She's taught saying this. Are we supposed to believe that Our Lady would come down from heaven and slip and drop the little baby Jesus just when some guy pokes at her eyes just like the Three Stooges? Oh, 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 Mo, Mo, I can't see! I can't see! What's the matter? I got my eyes closed. Ah, oh. Now, if you saw someone dropping a baby, if anyone saw somebody dropping a baby, would you jump backwards or would you jump forwards to try to catch the baby? Can any more reasonable man believe this thing? It's just blasphemous. People are seduced by these lies, are seduced because they want to be seduced. And there's droves of them. And you can't convert them. In more than 20 years of going after this, I've had one person take these warnings seriously. This is a powerful spirit. It's not of God. And the priests are silent. Every week, the Virgin is said to appear to the young visionaries at a Friday service. Belanger set up his camera and sat back to watch. Now, they made the sign of the cross and uh, they begin the prayer, Our Father. And during that prayer, suddenly, there is the beginning of the Exesili kneel down and they are in contact with uh, the Virgin Mary. If they're truly in ecstasy, nothing should distract the children. But suddenly, to Belanger's later amazement, an onlooker called Jean-Louis jabbed his hand towards Vitska on the right. At the moment of filming, I did not see that. Just afterwards, I saw that there was a commotion in the chapel. Everybody was disturbed because Vitska had reacted. Jean-Louis made a threat gesture against the eyes of Vitska, towards the eyes of Vitska, and uh, 
she reacted. And it was uh, for uh, Jean-Louis uh, uh, an important disappointment. Still frames from Belanger's video at the moment of the hand lunging at Witzka show her clearly recoiling from the jabbing fingers. Then the fingers of Jean-Louis are going back. Still no reaction for Witzka. A slight reaction, closing of her eyes. And then on the next picture, you have the spectacular movement of the uh, uh, face of uh, Witzka. She is reacting going back. After the ecstasy, I had forgotten to stop the camera and suddenly Witzka comes in with somebody else. She wanted to explain why she'd moved. In her trance, she'd been trying to prevent the Virgin from dropping the infant Jesus. So she said, when I arrive in the chapel and everything was okay, when the ecstasy began, I saw nobody and I heard nobody except the Virgin Mary. And the Virgin Mary had the infant Jesus in her arms. And suddenly I thought, said Witzka, that the infant Jesus would fall on the floor. So to impeach that, I made a gesture to impeach the infant Jesus to fall on the floor. And she thought that it would explain the reaction that she had against uh, the threat gesture made by Jean-Louis. <laughs> 